What was that, Paul Williams? I mean, did y'all see the fight? Paul Williams had the snot locked out of him, literally. If you go back and watch the end of the eighth round, and they show the punch in slow-mo with the right hook, he literally knocks the snot out of his nose. This guy beat Paul Williams' brains in. I had him leave, lose him 116-112. to 112. That was the final score I had. Um, Paul, I'm cool with you and everything, but you know you're not ready for Floyd Mayweather or anybody in that elite class of slick boxers. You have problems fighting slick fighters. And that's been shown. Fighters that stand in front of you, you'll take them apart. Slick fighters, you can't beat them. Because your defense isn't tight enough. You try to use your offense as your defense and that's your problem. And I've said this before, but now maybe we can stop that. Mayweather's running from Paul Williams and all that. That's craziness. I think now that people know, after watching these fights, that he wouldn't stand a chance. But, wow. Where were the body punches at, Paul? You really let me down with that. Really let me down. But HBO, y'all have got to tighten y'all belt on these judges and find out what's going on. There's got to be a commission, somebody who pays these guys these checks, and these guys should be suspended. 119, 110, to say that Martinez won one round in that fight, that's crazy. It's a robbery to the sport. It all started with Berto Colazzo, then Paul Imaginati Diaz, then the fight just last week with Juan Guzman was fighting for Nika, and I didn't even want to talk about that fight, that was so bad. And then this fight here, you know, it's just, it's just a bad decision, it's bad for boxing, and this is what makes people just say, Psst, turn the channel. Even though I like what Max Kellerman's doing, I like what you're doing, Max, you're doing a really good job as far as, like, the little segments trying to introduce the younger fighters and the fights are coming up so people can have some identity there. So HBO is taking a step in the right direction. Just like I told you they were going to try to do to get ready for this next quarter. Because they know this is going to be huge. This uh, Pacquiao Mayweather. All the money they're going to make off this. Oh. Some of my prior possessions behind me. That's my autograph. Should have under glove. Um. The guy, he was sparring, uh, getting ready to fight somebody, and he signed this glove for us, and we got it in a case. I didn't get a case for the Trinidad glove yet. It's the Felix Trinidad glove, autograph by Tito. A couple of photos I got out here. That's Juan Diaz and his brother, the baby boy. I don't know if I showed y'all that one. Uh, that's me and Arce. You know, they had to see it on how it's coming out. Uh, this is Winky Wright. All of this was uh, at the Mayweather Junior uh, Judah fight. And that's Miguel Cotto. I had a long talk with him. Uh, this is Felix Trinidad at the, uh, in Chicago at the Puerto Rican Fest. I came in with him and a couple other guys. I was there, but... That's just some stuff we got laying around in here. But the Juan Guzman situation, I'll finally comment on it. Because I feel I had to. The problem is, Juan Guzman was good at lightweight. He was good at 125. He was good at 130. But it was his first fight moving up, and a lot of you guys probably didn't know his mother died of cancer. He lost her. Couldn't make weight. And I think because he's probably been drinking these. These are Presidentes. Brewed in the Dominican Republic, and I think he had about maybe three or four of these beers. And I mean not just the beers, I mean cases of beer. Because he didn't look fast, he didn't look... He still has the skill, but as far as like his normal self, he wasn't at. He couldn't carry that weight. But I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm out.